Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. You may notice that this is not this is the Upper Omnia. This is Vanguard Zero, which was released um, around a week ago. And I've been having a lot of fun playing it. I, I at first thought it would be like a Duel Links uh, reskin, but it's not like Duel Links at all. And you can download it from the uh, App Store or Play Store. And the score on this game is very deceptive because last time I checked, it was really, really low. And the reason of it is because some people had the delusions that the actual physical game would be the same as this game or vice versa, I guess. And that's, that can't be. They can't bring the actual rules of the game in the in a mobile game. It's like asking for Duel Links to be like real Yu-Gi-Oh. That's that's not feasible. So I'm staying mostly free to play uh, in this game. I feel like it's really generous with its resources. And depending on what kind of feedback I get, I'll see if I do any more videos of this. But mostly I feel like I want to record, record myself while I'm playing ranked uh, matches. So you can craft cards in this game, it's like Hearthstone, but you can also uh, open packs. So it's, it is a gacha game. So since I'm, I'm trying to stay free to play, I just I am just ranking with the best possible deck I could make. So I didn't reload I didn't reroll any times because I think that's just a waste of time. And if you are good at the game, you can probably do fine. So this is the double R's and triple R's I could get. This is for Royal Paladin. And by the way, if you want me to do an introduction to the game, just let me know uh, in the comments uh, below. But the game has a does a really good job intro uh, like introducing you to Vanguard through its many tutorials. So I was trying to make a deck based on uh, the most double as and triple as I got. By the way, I got really lucky because I got the perfect, I got four perfect guards for each clan. These here are the perfect guards and you need to have four in each deck and they are really important to get four. This is just uh, something you get when you clear the story. So as you can see, the best clan I could work with was Royal Paladin. And I'm probably gonna craft this one today. As you see, I'm missing very few resources. I didn't manage to pull one Alfred. So yeah, let's, let's jump into uh, some ranked matches. I am A3. Um, it goes from C3 to C1 and then B3 and B1 and so on. I think after A it's S and then you get to Legend. So yeah, I'm gonna use the best deck I have and this is the, this is the deck. If any of you out there are playing the game or you know how this game plays, you probably know all the cards here and what they do. But like I said, if you want me to do another video explaining this game, I don't mind it at all. 
one thing I realized is that after getting to A rank, the climbing becomes way, way less, uh, way slower. I don't want those. Oh god, we are not getting a great one. Okay, so you need to keep these in your hand, but because I don't have a great one, I am obligated to write it. Preferred cards are your um, get out of jail free cards. When you're about to die, you counter their last attack with this from your hand and then you get to leave for one more attack. Gonna, I'm gonna use one blaster blade, blade, blade here in case I am able to do two damage to him instead of one and looks like I'm going to even if he gets a trigger I was hoping he would get a trigger there just just to get wasted I really like Gunsabo because you can keep recycling it and getting blaster blades in your hand. That's that's why I have the heal trigger on him. When you are against Aura called Think Tank, which is the clan my opponent is playing, uh, you can be safe knowing that they cannot remove your rear guards with uh, anything other than attacking them. This guy is my usual right to grade 3. I don't like riding guns a lot. I am only using him for the recycle. And 90% of the time all of my counters are used to you for um, blaster blades counter blast because it's a really good tempo move we may be able to get three damage in this turn Depends if you if we get a trigger or not. Okay, we got a trigger. If you if you have less damage than your opponent, then your heals does not does not activate. Okay, we got him down to five damage. So he, we only need to deal one more damage to him. He has a lot of cards in cards in hand, so I'm thinking that he has a couple of perfect guards as well. He got a heal trigger. It's really bad.
and we weaved yet another hill. We're gonna skip the right. We're gonna use blaster blades, counter blast once again. Get over one of his uh, rear guards. It's one of the best tempo moves in the game, in my opinion. Blaster blade is very good in that regard. I'm thinking that he will have um, perfect guards in hand. What are we gonna see now, I guess? Yep. No, he doesn't have. He he got a free. Uh, he he got a heal trigger. So he gets to live. That was really unlucky for us, but there's nothing you can do about um, the trigger RNG in this game. So, yeah, this is a loss. This is a loss because we only have one. He gets yet another heal trigger. That's amazing. So in order to leave, we need to we need to get a heal trigger from his last attack. That's the only way to leave. And we don't. That's fine. I'm gonna do one more. As long as you don't let the bad luck from triggers get to you, or your opponent having good luck, you will do fine because once you once they draw the triggers, there's nothing you can do about it. That's just that. Okay, I have two perfect guards. I have a great one. I have two great twos. I'm gonna keep this hand. My opponent is playing Nova Grappler, which means he is able to stand his unit even after they attack so they can attack again most of the times that is we got yet another perfect guard These, you need the perfect guards but not all of them <laughs> in your hand from the sub because then it becomes too clustery We're getting a free 5k booster. I don't want to return this yet because I don't want one more trigger heal in my deck since I don't have any damage yet. It wouldn't do me any good if I draw it. Okay, Kiva and draw trigger, that's nice. And that was actually an Azura Kaiser, which is the strongest card in his deck. But I'm pretty sure he has more. 
he didn't get the cards effect there. That was that was huge. Trans Trans Riser has no business being um, a common card. This card should have been at least a double rare, in my opinion. Okay. We can work with something here. We're gonna write our 9k for some more defense. We're gonna activate this Gancelot. I was, see, this is why we waited before recycling Gansalot back into the deck. That doesn't matter because we boosted our rare guard, so he's able to go over his 70k now. Our opponent is um, whiffing a lot of triggers, which is really good for us. And if he's not getting frustrated, it's really good for him. See, he had, a, he had another Azura Kaiser in his hand. A lot of players in this rank and above are gonna have very complete decks. Okay. So thanks to his effect, if he checks a trigger, he's able to stun one of his rare guards. And we will be able to use our blaster blade. I don't want to ride on Gunsalot. I prefer on staying at grade two. I don't I almost never want to ride guns a lot because he's only a 9k and I don't want to use his ability. Okay so if I put this here this makes it since the 16k so if my opponent doesn't get the trigger, I'll be able to uh, push for 2 damage this turn. See, our opponent already drew, drew 5 triggers, we only drew 2. Okay, thankfully he doesn't get the superior call again. <laughs> I was really lucky. Twice in a row he failed it. This is, in my opinion, the strongest uh, two in the game. He's 11k. He can become 16 if he's in, if he's your vanguard. That's insane. Okay, he's gonna start putting the pressure really like yeah that's really bad okay he at least he got only one trigger okay we got a grade three Honestly, I would have preferred if he if he put me at four there, so I could have used a uh, blaster blades um, effect. Because now I only have one counter blast.
yeah, let's... I'm gonna push to five. Unless I cannot hit his vanguard, I had, I never, I almost never bother clearing their great threes. That was a whiffed heal again. Do not gonna activate. The draw trigger was good. I'm thinking that my opponent has his perfect guard in hand as well. Okay, he's he's trying to push for game, I think. But thanks to our perfect guards, I, that's not gonna be possible for him. So I'm hoping he gets triggers here. Yeah, that's fine. That was a third Asura Kaiser. Jeez. I wonder if he has four. Yeah, what are you doing there, buddy? Oh, I didn't know he had that ability. Yeah, we have... Yeah, we've, we've got moves, we've got moves, that's fine. So, instead of using... Yeah, yeah, let's use Blaster Blade skill once again. There's no reason not to. It's a really good tempo move. And we finally got another booster. Jeez. That's a perfect guard. Yeah, that was... That was... Uh, I was waiting for that. Another perfect guard. I wonder if he has the third one in his hand. He doesn't. And we won. See, we only got, we only got ten points from that game. I think if you get a winning streak, you get more. But I still haven't got a winning streak in the A rank, so I'm not sure yet. If you know, just let me know. So yeah, that was that was Vanguard Zero. It's a really fun game. The games are really fast, like ten minutes or less. If you want to see more of this, just let me know. It's, it's a really blast to play. And you also get to build your own room. Oh, I got eight likes. This is the car. This is the card I've been trying to get, but I haven't got even one copy yet. I haven't got one CEO Amaterasu yet for obvious reasons. And I'm not gonna craft it because I wanna craft more of those silent tombs. This is the best, this is in my opinion the best card in the clan. Because if this card attacks, your opponent cannot use his perfect guards. So 
if he's on five damage, he cannot do anything to defend, <laughs> other than drawing a heal trigger. Anyway, that was it for from me uh, for today. I'm probably gonna do another should you invest video for Opera Omnia over this weekend for Franz Lost Chapter. Um, take care, guys. Stay inside your houses, and I'll see you in the next video. See ya.